All right, here we are on a somewhat gray and dreary Oregon morning, but we're going to get nice and woken up. Starting with our warm up, feet about hip width apart. We're going to start with some gentle arm swings. First, keep your feet still, let your torso do all the work. Just do a few without moving your feet. Really make sure you're getting a good twist. And then once you start to feel a little loosened up there, you add the foot movement, go a little further, let your hips move with it. And then maybe go just a little bit faster. Let your arms really fly out. Do just a couple more. Get the blood flowing. And then we're gonna bring that back to stillness and move on to our arm circles. And then go the other way. And then add a couple, just throw, throw in your arms in and out, cross them one arm over and then switching to the other arm on top. Beautiful. And then from there, we're gonna move on to our hip rotations. So bring your feet out a little bit further. Make some nice big circles. And then go the other way. From there, we're gonna bring our feet back in. We're gonna move on to our wind. Oh, I almost skipped our side lunges. Gotta warm up those knees too. So hands up, we're gonna do, start off with some little small side lunges. And then if everything's feeling good there, step out a little further. Use this time to check in, see if you have any tweaks, any aches or pains, anything you might need to be a little careful of or modify movements for. But if everything's all good, step out even further and do some nice big side lunges. And then bring that back in. Now we're gonna move on to those windmills. So feet hip width apart, arms out, reaching opposite hand to opposite foot. And two more on each side. And then we're gonna finish off with our high knees. Starting out a little low, checking in with your hips, your lower back, and then starting to work your way up, bringing those knees up higher and higher till you reach whatever is the highest you can do. Your ultimate goal is to be able to bring those knees all the way up to your shoulders full range of motion there, but it can take some time to work into that and that's okay. Do two more on each side and then give everything a good wiggle. Make sure you're all ready to go. All right, starting out with that left leg in front. We're gonna do one of our basic footwork drills with a jab. So we're gonna step out, jab, step forward, jab, step the other way, jab, back through the middle and then just follow that pattern, jabbing the whole time. Now, before we start, let me talk a second about our guard position. When you do your guard position, you wanna make sure that you're still keeping your shoulders down. So you don't wanna turtle up, you wanna keep them down and relaxed. Your arms are up and a little tense because you're holding the muscles, but make sure your jaw is relaxed, shoulders down, so that you're not stressing all those muscles the entire workout. 
All right, we've got two minutes on the clock. Here we go. Starting out maybe a little slow, making sure you've got the pattern. And if you're familiar with it and you feel good on it, you can go a little faster and add in a little bit of that lower body engagement, staying on the balls of your feet, not letting your heels touch. So you're working your calves too. If you're still working on the pattern, then that's okay. Just work on the pattern and don't worry so much about your feet. Looking good, you got it. Halfway there, one minute down, one minute to go. Check in, make sure you're not clenching your jaw. Drop those shoulders down. You want everything to stay relaxed until the actual punch and then go back to relaxed as you pull your arm back. Almost there, 30 more seconds. Oh, I can feel my calf and my shoulder burning already. You got this, keep it up. And time, excellent. Whew. Give that shoulder a shake. That's a lot of jabbing. All right, next up, we're gonna have that left leg in front again. We're gonna do a full shield. It's like a standing crunch, but in kickboxing terms, you're blocking anything coming in that direction. From there, you're gonna do a jab, cross, uppercut, Finish off with a knee. One more time. It's shield, jab, cross, uppercut, knee. All right, two minutes. Here we go. Shield, jab, cross, uppercut, knee. There you go. Same thing. Do it slow a couple times. Make sure you've got the pattern. And you know what? If you mix up a punch here and there, no worries. Because all movement is good movement, as long as it doesn't hurt. Once you're feeling confident with it, you can pick up the pace a little bit. Still keeping those shoulders down. Relax your jaw. Even in the middle of a combo, you can still have the rest of your muscles relaxed. It's funny how that works. You got it. Looking good. Use that front hip to drive that uppercut motion. Really get good power coming into that. Take a second to reset between each combo. Make sure you've got your feet in the right place. And then keep going. Oh, time, that went so fast. All right, here we go. Next one, we're gonna stay on that left side. We're gonna do a jab, fade, turn sideways so you can see that one. Jab, and then you're just fading back like there's something coming at your face. You're just moving out of the way. Then you're gonna finish 
with a jab, cross, hook, rear round house kick. So it's jab, fade, jab, cross, hook, rear round house kick. So for that round, you're using that right leg. Beautiful, you got it. Two minutes on the clock, here we go. Jab, fade, jab, cross, hook, roundhouse kick. When you do that roundhouse kick, make sure you turn that front foot so you can pivot your body without torquing that knee. Nice. Your roundhouse kick can be whatever height is good for you. A low roundhouse kick is perfect. Medium, high, whatever your range of motion allows. You got it, looking good. More than halfway there already, 40 seconds to go. and time, excellent. Take a second, march it out, take some deep breaths. And then from here, we're gonna stay on that left side for one minute of side crunches. So you're gonna put your hands on your head and you're just bringing elbow to knee or knee to elbow for one minute. All right, here we go. Reset those feet each time. Make sure you have your balance. If this one's easy for you, go ahead and speed through them. But if it's not, it's okay to take a second. Do it at a little slower pace. And make sure you are taking care of yourself. Even here, you can drop those shoulders down. Unclench that jaw. Beautiful, looking good. Almost there. And time, excellent. All right, take a second, go grab some water. And then we've got another set to do. All right, bring it back in. We're going back to that footwork drill, doing it on the other side. So put your right foot in front. This time it's gonna be step to the right, jab. Back to center, front jab, left jab, back down the middle. Just moving through that pattern. The back foot stays planted, so you're just turning it as you move, but it stays in the same spot the whole time. Working that back calf and front shoulder. Two minutes, here we go.
Now, if this is new for you, stick with the basic pattern and just jab it out. But if you're used to this and you wanna up it a little bit, remember to stay on the balls of the feet. Don't let those heels touch. And if that's easy for you, focus on making that jab as quick as you can. Out and back, fast in both directions. You got it. Halfway there. Drop those shoulders down. Relax your jaw. Keep jabbing. Fifteen more seconds. You got this. And time. Excellent. All right. Keeping that right leg in front. March it out for just a second. Give that shoulder a chance to take a break. And then right leg in front. We're going to do that shield jab cross upper rear roundhouse kick one more time shield jab cross upper rear roundhouse kick so this time the kick is coming from the left leg two minutes on the clock here we go shield jab cross upper driving with that front hip all the way around for the roundhouse kick you got it looking good Still remembering to turn that front foot as you're coming around for the roundhouse kick, protect your knees. And still keeping those shoulders down and back and relaxing your jaw. Keep breathing, you got it. Thirty seconds left. Pick up the pace just a little bit. See if you can go a little bit faster. Almost there. You got this. And time, excellent. March it out, take a nice deep breath. And then still with that right leg in front, we're back to that fade. So we've got jab, fade, jab, cross, hook. Ha, I switched it around. We'll throw the knee on this one. That's okay, we'll still work the same muscles. So we've got jab, fade, jab, cross, hook, knee. One more time, jab, fade, jab, cross, hook, knee. You got it, here we go. Jab, fade, jab, cross, hook, knee. Beautiful.
Looking good. Halfway there. Check in with those shoulders. Check in with that jaw. Make sure you're still breathing. You got it, almost there. 25 seconds to go. And time. March it out, take a deep breath. And then we gotta do those right side crunches. So we've got one minute on the clock, hands on your head. Still bring in that knee up to the elbow or the elbow down to the knee. Here we go. You got it. Up to you if you want to do this one fast or slow. You want to keep that heart rate up. You can do it super fast. Or if you want to really work those muscles, you can do it super slow, squeezing all the way up. Almost there. 15 seconds to go. And time. Awesome. March it out. Go grab some water. We have one set left. All right, for our last set, we're gonna start in a nice horse stance. Well, you're doing it for two minutes, so make it one you can sustain the whole time. You can drop super low. You can have a little tiny baby horse stance with just a little bend in your knees or anywhere in between that works for you. We're gonna go through our six basic punches. So we're gonna do two straights, two hooks, two uppers. One more time, two straights, two hooks, two uppers. Holding that horse stance the whole time. Two minutes, here we go. Straight, straight, hook, hook, upper, upper. There you go. Just get into a nice rhythm. Let your torso turn especially on those hooks and uppers. Really engage those back and side muscles. Maybe drop that horse stance down just a little lower. Maybe don't, it's up to you. Looking good, you got it. Halfway there. Keep breathing, keep punching.
Almost there, you got this. Sing just a little more into that horse stance. Finish it out. And time, beautiful. March it out. And then from here, we're gonna put that left leg back in front. We've got a front snap kick, double jab. We're gonna add a little extra in there. We've got that front snap kick, double jab, uppercut, and then rear front kick. So we're gonna do front snap, double jab, uppercut, rear front kick. Now the front one, snap straight up. The rear one is gonna be that push kick where you're using your foot to like push somebody in the stomach. Two minutes on the clock, here we go. Front snap, jab, jab, upper, rear push kick. Front snap, jab, jab, upper, push. Beautiful, you got it. Reset each time. Make sure your feet are in the right position. And if that push kick sometimes is more of a snap, that's okay. All movement is good movement as long as it doesn't hurt. So just keep moving. Halfway there already. Check in again with those shoulders. Check in with that jaw. Keeping everything relaxed until the moment of striking. Almost there. Keep breathing. And time, excellent. March it out. Take a deep breath. And then we're gonna do the other side. So put that right leg in front. We're doing that snap kick, double jab, upper, finish with the push kick. So this time it's the right leg doing the snap. You got your three punches in the middle and then the left leg doing the push kick. Two minutes on the clock, here we go. Snap, double jab, upper, push kick, and then reset. Beautiful. You got it. Almost there. Forty five seconds to go. Keep breathing, keep moving.
fast or slow. You got lots of energy, throw those out there super fast and keep it going. If you're starting to wind down, that's okay. It's your last one. Do it a little slower. And time. Awesome. All right, our last one today. We're gonna finish off really working the front of that core. We did the sides on those side crunches. This time we're gonna do a front pike. So you're just gonna hold your hands out, try to kick up to touch your toes. It's okay to have your knees bent. It's okay to have your knees straight if you can, but your goal is to use your abs to draw those legs up. We got one minute on the clock, here we go. Focusing on that ab crunch. Holding those hands out about shoulder height, trying to bring your toes up towards it. If they don't reach, that's okay. Just get as close as you can. We're more than halfway there already. Oh, I feel it in my abs. Keep it up, you got it. Almost there. And time. Great job. All right, shake it out, go grab some water. And then we have our final stretch. All right, bring it back in for that final stretch. Starting out with your feet hip width apart. Bring those arms up with a nice deep breath. And then fold all the way forward and let it out. Just hang here for a second. Let everything start to decompress. Have a nice bend in your knees. And then from here, straighten your knees if you can. Come up just a little bit. Swing those arms in small circles in one direction. And then in small circles in the other direction. Just kind of massaging out that shoulder joint a little bit. From here, reach back down towards the floor. If you can put your hands on the floor, go for it. If not, reach for the back of your legs or your feet. And you're just gonna try to sink in a little more. Really stretch out the back of those hamstrings. You might feel it in your lower back as well. And then from here, bend your knees, roll up nice and slow. Roll those shoulders down and back. Bring your feet out nice and wide. Bring those arms up again. And fold forward again. From here, you should definitely be able to touch the ground. If you can't, go ahead and slide those feet out a little bit further. Or if mobility and, and flexibility is a little bit more of an issue, if you have a block or a stool handy, you can use that to help bring the floor up to meet you. Walk those hands out just a little bit. Push down into your palms. You can have a nice bend in your knees here. What we're going for is a stretch across the upper back and shoulders. But if it feels good, you can straighten your legs too and get a stretch through your hamstrings at the same time. Walk those hands back in. From here, you're gonna bend one knee and then turn your body and bring your hands over to the opposite foot. You should feel a stretch through the inside of your thigh and possibly also up through your lower back on the opposite side. 
maybe even through your side body. And then walk those hands back towards the middle and then go to the other side. The more you push into that hip, the more you'll feel the stretch through the lower back and side body. And the more you straighten your knee, the more you'll feel that stretch through the inside of your leg. Walk those hands back towards the middle. One more time, walk them out and press into those shoulders. Well, press into your palms until you feel it in your shoulders. And then walk those hands back in, toe heel the feet in and come all the way up. All right, you guys are all done. Great job today.